Hey guys, so today, which is Friday the 13th, which is supposed to be a very bad and unlucky day, I got lucky. Well, kind of lucky and not lucky in that other way where people get lucky, but I kind of got lucky. So today was supposed to be the day when a lot of Amiibo came out and I was going to go on this big Amiibo hunt, which I kind of did. I started out this morning around 8 o'clock and I was driving around looking for stores. Uh, my first stop was actually Target because they opened at 8. They didn't have anything there. My next stop was at Walmart and I usually don't go to Walmart because they usually don't have anything their amiibo and if they do it's just the old ones that nobody cares about and are in complete stock so i go there and while i'm there i'm looking at the amiibo section i see this lady and she's like she's like moving the amiibos at first i'm just like oh, okay um don't know who you are don't know why you're just organizing these but i'm gonna just i'm, I'm just gonna look and see if there's any new ones i saw they got their toon links and their sheiks in and at this point, Toon Link and Sheik are basically everywhere, they're not that rare anymore, and they're getting a lot of shipments into a lot of stores, so you can find Toon Link and Sheik almost anywhere, because I've seen a lot of them just today. So I stand there for a few seconds, and the lady turns around and looks at me, and she's like, oh, you trying to get some Amiibos? I'm just like, yeah, I actually am. She asked me which ones I'm looking for, I say Sonic and DDD, because I wanted to get both of those for both me and a friend because he really likes those two characters and it kind of sucks that they're both coming out in this one wave because actually those are his two top favorite characters and that's it's really unlucky and the lady that was talking to me she told me that she was actually a nintendo representative and she was updating the entire amiibo display she updated it to have all the new games that are coming out mario party 10 uh yoshi's woolly world even codenamed steam and they have like all the new amiibos all up there for you know display on the screen thing so you can like drag and drop them and see what their thing is on there if you've been to a display you know what i'm talking about she was doing that and we talked for about five minutes she was saying that maybe they have some in the back they said they had some in the back some amiibos to bring out turns out they actually didn't have any at all so uh, me waiting there was a while for a while was just really stupid and i actually came back to figure out they didn't have any so uh that is that part of the story but she was telling me hey like are you interested in Majora's Mask? And I was like, sure. So she actually gave me a poster. I'm not sure this is anything special. She gave me a poster though. And it was actually a poster that they have in Walmart, like on display. So I got a, I got a poster out of it, like a, a free poster. And that was nice. And then she was like, hey, I don't think they have any of the Majora's Mask 3DSs in stock here. I'm like, well, I don't think they have them in stock anywhere. Then she tells me, if you check Target, they might have some. And I'm just like, right, of course, maybe they do. Because obviously, I'm, I'm not going to actually believe that they have some. Why the hell would they have? They sold out really quickly. I couldn't get my hands on one. Like The, the pre-orders sold out within hours. So I was just waiting there for the lady to come from the back and bring the Amiibos out. I was looking at my phone. I just checked Target.com and I was like, oh, well, look, it's unavailable. For some reason, one page said unavailable for the store that was near me. And then one page said limited stock. So I was like, let me take this chance. Let me take this chance real quick. Call up the store and if I found out that they actually did have them in stock, I put it on hold and I got one. So yeah, I actually have a Majora's Mask 3DS. I was planning on not fucking buying the new Nintendo 3DS. I really didn't want to buy it just yet. And they made me do it. Just because I, if I was going to get one, I wanted this one. And if I wasn't going to get this one, I was going to wait until later on. I was going to wait and see if they were going to like, release the smaller version of the new 3DS. But they had it, so I was just like, I got to do it. I, this is like my only chance to get one of these because if I don't get it now, I'm going to have to look online and buy it for maybe $200 more than I would for this one. So yeah, they broke me, and actually that Nintendo rep definitely helped me out, definitely. Even though she didn't help me get any Amiibos, it's not really her fault, it's Walmart's fault. I mean, obviously I can't depend on them for Amiibos at any point in time. Nobody can. Don't depend on Walmart. Maybe your Walmart's good, but trust me, the ones I had experiences with, they suck. So I'm actually going to unbox that in a little bit. I'm not going to do a full unboxing, I'm just going to like show you guys the system in a little bit. I also wanted to say... 
that, I got a couple other things, such as Majora's, I'm still, Majora's Mask 3DS, I got the game, and it, it, I haven't played it yet, haven't even opened it yet, as you can see, it's like all shiny, um, it, I, I hope it's good, I never played the original one on the N64, I actually have it, which is weird, I have the actual golden cartridge of the game, never played it, because I don't have an expansion pack for my N64. <laughs> But now I have the game and I'm ready to play it it's with the in entire new thumbstick, the, 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 the C stick for the, and then the enhanced 3D, and then the enhanced processing power, which is great for this game. Also, besides the Majora's Mask stuff, I actually got like two other things which aren't really that important. I got a USB adapter for my 3DS, cause guess what, it don't come with a charger. Thanks, Nintendo. That actually wasn't one of the things I had to show you. That was just like something. Here's the real thing. This, this bootleg GameCube controller adapter, um, it, it really is just like the most bootleg thing I could ever imagine. I mean, it works still. I hope it works. I haven't actually tested it out. I'm going to test it out tonight. Um, I'm going to go over to my friend's house and we're going to play Smash. None of us have GameCube controllers. So this is the first time. Okay, so the first time we're going to have this available. So uh, we're going to see how that works out. Funny thing about this though is that I ordered it last Friday. And it's Friday now and I got two day shipping. And it just came in today. So uh, thank you whoever sent me this. That was not two day shipping. That was like seven day shipping. The fuck? And then finally before the unboxing I want to just say I got dying late sort of um th th there's a reason why i say sort of but i'm not gonna go over that in this video but yeah i got dying light and i'm hoping that it's good i saw a lot of good reviews i thought it would be bad because it's kind of like um dead island in a sense it's just it has like parkour and more of a gimmick of survive at night there's a lot more dangerous enemies at night there's different types of zombies that can do a lot of different things like spit out this gunk at you and so it's a lot of so it looks like a lot of fun I've seen gameplay of it and I just wanted to try it out so uh, this is my chance to try it out see how it works I might actually put a little some some on a gameplay Sunday I'll think about that because honestly my PS4 doesn't really want to work too well on gameplay Sundays so uh, that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble but anyways besides that I want to get into unboxing this thing, sort of unboxing it. I don't want to do the whole unboxing thing. There's like nothing in here. There's like AR cards. There's pamphlets. Spoiler alert, I suppose. And, and then there's a system. So that's basically all that's in this. Telling you right off the bat. So I'm going to just unbox it and show you guys what a system looks like. So yeah, like literally all that came with it was literally just this packet with AR cards and a booklet like I told you guys before and this. The, the actual, that's all that was in it. I'm telling you guys, it wasn't anything special at all. This is the system. It looks really shiny. It looks really nice. Like I like it. It's big, yo. I have never owned an XL before. And any model of it, 3DS or just a regular DS XL, I never owned any of those. So this is a little bit new to me, and it's I guess it's kind of good. At the same time, I already had my own, uh, old, my old 3DS. I actually bought it used, so it's kind of it already had scuffs on it before. Now I got this one. I'm very tempted to not ever take this outside my house, just because it looks so good. And you know, you see Majora's man. I don't know if this is gonna like focus properly. It's not. But, yeah, let's look at the inside real quick. Oh, it actually has like a little preset thing. Oh, that's nice. All right, so here it is. The inside of it looks pretty good. Got the little little nub thumb sticky thing right there. And uh, it's a little C-stick, volume control. Got the uh, 3D slider over here. And they move the start and select buttons. Things you guys probably already know. Home buttons right there. I would, should I start it up? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try. How do you? Where's the, okay, so yeah, they, they put other <laughs> new things like the game slots now on the bottom. Uh, stylus is on the bottom. It actually comes with a stylus. So thank you, Nintendo, for giving me a stylus. At least you gave me this. I mean, you didn't give me a you didn't give me a charger, but at least you gave me a stylus. That's good. And the power buttons down here. So I'm gonna just power it on. You guys will be able to see it. Power. Is it gonna power on? Be powering on. I think it, it. I can see a light coming out of it. I don't know if it's going to work properly. There it is. Okay, so yeah, that's basically how that works. I'm not sure if the 3D slider is going to work right now. It actually is on complete 3D. Yeah, 3D is on. 
and it's it's looking it's working properly like the whole face track it's actually i mean I, it, not a lot of this is 3d right now i mean obviously but like i can definitely see the whole 3d effect i like how big it is that's that sounds so weird <laughs> i like the size of the xl it feels nice and um it, it just feels a lot better than the smaller version of it uh everything feels really just like I was gonna say everything feels tight on this um, everything feels really like I don't know the buttons feel like buttons you know the, the buttons feel clicky it's, uh, clicky in a good way but it, it, it just feels really nice as a system I'm actually glad I got this um, so yeah I guess that's just about all I heard some things I heard some reviews on this saying that like m number one the big thing about this that's kind of bad is just like the back panel how like you had to open that up and opening it up i heard is really stressful it sounds like you're breaking your system when you open it up and um the micro sd cards in there that's like the only really negative thing people had to say about it but other than that the system is it looks like it's doing very well and all the new features actually seem to be kind of important except for the whole faster processor it's only important for like the new 3ds games i don't care if my smash brothers can start up faster like by like a couple seconds it, it doesn't matter it's not going to improve the actual the, the the speed of the gameplay itself it's not going to improve the online which is absolutely trash it's not going to improve any of that so it's just starting up the the games themselves which is a little bit faster it's good but then again I don't care that much, let's be honest. So yeah, this is basically it, and uh, I, 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 I don't know, um, that's the end of the video. So of course, that, that was good, but the bad thing about today, the unlucky part about today was that I didn't get to find any amiibos that came out today. They came out, I saw people get them, and I didn't actually get any myself because I couldn't. I heard people got, uh, one of my friends got a Mega Man, I heard that some people were getting Sonics, and I don't know about DDD or Ike yet, but I heard that people were getting at least Mega Man and Sonic today, and Meta Knight is still up for, you know, grabs next Friday, and not any time before that. So leave a comment or a like, and don't forget to subscribe. And for now, this is me, Nexa Otaku, saying stay gold, and I'll see you guys later.